Hi everyone, this is episode two of what's happening at MFG. I'm Al Holt, your host, and I'm with I'm with um, Matt Feldman, the creator and founder of the best thing out there. Uh, in, happening with authors, publishing, and games, and um, I'm gonna bring the ball to his court, and he can tell you a little bit more about MFG. Okay, hi Matt. Can you tell me? Hey, about yeah, thanks for the interview, man. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to do yeah, this. Definitely. Al is one of our, is one of our talented more talented authors and writers. writers. His his genre, his genre books. is comic books. Definitely you should check definitely out check out round two. two. But right now, right now, we're going to address, uh, going to address what's what happening what's happening with why MFG. Have why have we been so quiet lately? Why have we been so slow as it were? The truth is, we're rebranding, the, truth is we're rebranding. the people in the authors, the author base that we work with, that we work with is all working. Two jobs, Two jobs writing. while writing, and we're in the process, we're we're in the process of a rebrand. We're going to be changing our name Mez from Mez Fantasy, Fantasy Games Mez Fantasy to Mez Fantasy Publishing this year. We're going to keep our logo, going to keep our logo. still going to have that iconic, have that iconic dragon over the lettering, over the lettering. but we're, but aiming, we're to aiming to really consolidate, really consolidate on, on gaining, gaining more and authors. And in today's society, in today's society we where we have... In, you know, the you know, average, the average individual, individual who wants to write a and book. And you have hundreds of thousands of self-published self authors, authors, authors out there, but how much money are they really making without the help of a publisher? We're not trying to be like, like, like Random House or Penguin or anything Books or anything we'll like that. We'll never have the money to compete with that. We're an indie company. So at best, so at best you know, I can, know, aim, that I can high, aim that high, but I'd be setting us all, up, setting us all up for I'm failure, and I'm not to one to do that to my clients, as, as Mr. Holt here can testify to. That said, that said know, with everything going, on, everything going on, I really just want to focus on the consolidation of it's gaining more authors. I don't it's fine to self-publish. I don't discourage it. I encourage it if you want to go out on your own and really establish your own name that way and you have the time and the commitment to do so but at mfg we offer our clients the best possible service everything is that we can everything everything is fair everything is indie is industry standard with us we will give you a fair deal we'll give you all we ask is you work with us if you're able to work that with us, said, we can work with you. I mean, if you're able to work with us, we can work with Al you. I mean, can tell you, I as Al can tell you, I am a fairly easygoing guy, guy when it comes to projects, deadlines, things, deadlines, things, deadlines, things like that. But erotica. We take we'll anything romance. but erotica. We we'll take romance. The, uh, We've actually opened up the, the, uh, the uh, selections to romance novels as long as they actually have a storyline and it's not just sex. Because we do cater to a larger uh, audience, but ultimately, our end goal is to consolidate, to consolidate and, focus and focus on the author base. Awesome. Um. Well. Um. Could you tell everyone what your um website address is? Yes, you can find us at uh, Meshulov yes, Fantasy Games. Uh, Fantasy Games. Weebly. And, um, com. Do you have any uh, like um, sponsors or investors or future investors or something? At this time, I unfortunately. Future at this time, I like unfortunately that. we don't have any any investors or future investors or anything know. like that. Uh, everything that we do That's basically comes out of pocket. Slow. And um, that's why things are a little bit slow. Can try to get investors, um, but without them we having some kind of proof can that try to get investors, than, but without uh, them having some kind of proof for, that we've got more than they're not gonna be enough so people again, to with, produce books for. You know, paying for things they're not going to be interested. So against, again, we're stuck I with that was gonna be the case you know paying for things out of pocket, six which years. I'm not against. I I knew mm -hmm. that was going to be the case when I started the company well, six years um, ago. So um, 
what do you see in the future of um, MFG? Like, um, will you be at more um, Comic Con conventions or? The goal is to eventually go to Comic Con event. Uh, the goal is to eventually go to Comic Con you know, events, uh, conventions, shelves, things like that. Get our books on in Barnes and Nobles on their shelves. We are get comics in comic book shops across the country. We're we are aiming for hard printing, our selections, but right like hard copies of each of our selections. But right now that because right now we're just it costs so much money to put into a hard copy sales, which right now we're just stuck financially by digital sales which is fine and good i've got no problem with create space or amazon other than the time frame in which they okay. pay our authors well, um, thank you for telling me and telling us about um the, the mfg and the future of comic books and authors, and just um, keep in mind any viewers out there if you have anything you or even think, I'll be glad to help. <laughs> okay, um, any last words, Matt? Uh, yeah, actually, I agree with everything that Al said. If you guys are not comfortable self publishing, come to us. Cool. Uh, yeah, actually, I agree with everything that Al said. If you guys are not comfortable self-publishing, come to us. If we can't work with you, we I can guarantee you that we can refer you to somebody that can take your book and make it work. That we do have a certain criteria. We ask that you do not submit erotica. If I have to read one more manuscript about Doctor Who having sex with a Jedi, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs>